Right, here we are again, guys. And uh, I said I was going to be doing Tamarind North. I've changed my mind. I'm going to do Tamarind South. And this is going to be a big build. Because um, up here, right, okay, we've got Tamarind Island. We've got Tamarind North. Now, Tamarind North is this whole area up here. Tamarind South is this whole area down here. Which means that we've actually got two plots that we're going to be working with. And let me let me show you. We've got uh, Anaconda Bay over here, and we've got Tapir Valley over here, which um, I have renamed to Tamarind South One. This is going to be Tamarind South Two. Okay. Now this was uh, this currently is our utilities city, so um, we we kind of need to bear that in mind. We need to figure out what we're going to do with the um, with the utilities. Um, we'll probably keep it. I'll probably do cool things with that, but. But we'll see. Right, you know what? Enough yak, right? There'll be plenty of yakking as we go through. I want to get on with this. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mark out our, uh, our boundaries. And I want to use a tip that, like, several people have given me um, over over the past few months. Um, if you go up and pick, on, uh, pick one of your data maps, like, probably water is probably the best one because it shows up usually the best. And you can see that this is our original map boundaries. Okay. Now, if I go down to this bottom corner, and I'm going to go to roads, and I'm going to go to waterways. Now, there's there are new in in Skypack 2.3. There are new uh, road types in here which we're going to be using, and they are frankly freaking awesome. But we'll, we'll get to that. Guys, I am so excited. I've been in R&D for the last few hours. And I seriously, I could have spent days playing around with this. And I probably should have spent a couple of days just like mapping it out and deciding exactly what I was going to do. But I'd like, screw it. Screw it. I just want to get in here. I just want to play, you know. I'm seriously loving this. Right. Now, I'm going to put this road just outside the, the boundary. Okay. So, I'm going to put it like there so it's just outside the bottom edge and I'm going to run it all the way across here um, now one thing for, for people who uh, and, and quite a few people have issues with not being able to plop outside your boundaries if you go into a city and you can't plop outside your original map boundaries save the game exit SimCity completely right come back in and it'll work okay because I, I had this when I first came into this city. It, it, nothing would plop outside. Saved the game, exited SimCity, came back in, then it worked. Okay? That's what you have to do. It's a very simple fix. Okay, so, um, right, let's get on. Um, I want to find the the edge over here. And I know it's going to be, I mean, it's going to be, it's double this. So it's, it's going to be, like, about there-ish. So what I'm going to do, I can't plop on this. Because it's outside the um, the extended boundaries. So, like, if I like, if I pick a park, see, I can't plop on this, right? Because it's outside. But if I take uh, another road, and I'm going to take a regional street, I think, because uh, it's going to be on here. It's going to be on the land. Uh, just a just a low density that'll do. And let's run this. Don't 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 wrong mouse button. Try that again. Let's just run it across like that. That'll do. Now we can get rid of this. And uh, we'll take our little red roofed building because it shows up well. Right, there we go. That's as far as we can go to there. Right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to plop that there. And then I'm going to come around to this side and I'm going to put a road in. Uh, and this time I'm going to switch back to my waterways. And this time I'm going to try to be like just on the edge so that I can actually plop. So I'm guessing I probably want to be about there. Yeah, I'm thinking about there. Let's see. Let's see if I can plop. Let's do it with my little park again with the red roof. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Just could just plop a building in there. I'm going to plop that in, actually. Just to mark the edge. Just so that I know. Um, let's get rid of these data maps. Let's We can uh, we can bulldoze this road now. Don't need that. We can bulldoze this pavilion. Don't need that. Okay, right. What I'm going to start by doing, I'm going to start by 
showing you the kind of thing that we're going to be doing in this build just so that you get an idea because this is going to be a long build and i don't want to like do loads of infrastructure and you don't really kind of see anything cool so we're going to start with something cool okay now when you're doing these um, commercial type docks remember in the when we did the um the the, the regular dock over in tamarin island um, I gave you the, the measurements, and I will give you the measurements for this if, if you want to do it a different way, but the, I'm going to give you a kind of a different way, an easier way to do it. This is my recommendation. Okay, so you start off with uh, the coastal roads, okay, and what you do is you work from one side to the other, okay, so I'm going to start off with a regional coastline. I'm going, to, I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm going to start off about, where do I want to be? I want to be uh, about here. And I've got an idea of what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and put in like three docks, but we'll see. So I'm going to start off, and I'm going to put a, a coast road in up here, about there. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do, pig. And then... <laughs> This is, this is where things start to get cool. Actually, you know what? What I'm going to do, I'm going to do it with a... Uh, I'm going to do it with a ferry dock. I was going to use um, uh, a trade port, but I'm going to use a ferry dock. Uh, and I don't know why, but I just am. Where's, where's boats? Ferry dock. Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to put a ferry dock, like, in... Uh, you know, see, now I've, done, now I've said it. Am I going to do it with a ferry dock? Yeah, I think I probably, I think I probably am. Just, the, all of this is going to get moved around and tinkered around with, I, I'm kind of just showing you. So, I'll, what the hell, I'll do it with uh, a fairy dog. I'm, I've done it the wrong way around, haven't I? God, what a bonehead. What a bonehead. Let's try that again. Should have remembered. The, the way to remember this... <laughs> Is, um, funnily enough, it's the way that you remember which is port and which is starboard, right? Because um, how, do, like, how do you know which is left and right, port and starboard? Well, left and port have the same number of letters, right? So left is port and right is starboard. And it's kind of the same with this. Um, left, down, right, up. So you, you draw it down and I drew it up, which is why I got it wrong. And I think... Um, I think somebody just tried to send me a message then, but I may have misheard that. Uh, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, I'm all over the place, guys. I'm trying to give you too much information. Right, let's try that again. So I want to, I want to be about there-ish. I think. Yeah, that might be a little bit further over than I wanted, but yeah, it'll do. It'll do. Right. So then, let's try this again. So dock, dock. Let's put the dock in there. Now, so I'm I'm really in two minds about this now because, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to start with that, and I, just to show you, just to show you, right now, ha, huh, uh, cargo ship dock. So we plop a cargo ship dock on here, right? Kill, cool, right? And these things look absolutely sweet when you start to get them out in the water. They, they really are awesome. And I love it when they're actually operating and this thing's sliding across and it's delivering crates and all kinds of things. It's wonderful. Um, okay, so having put that building in, right, you can now place your road. So we can go, okay, let's take this and let's come down here. Get nice and close so we can see what we're doing. And I want the uh, the, the inside edge of the red circle, right, um, touching the edge of where I want, it, I want it to be. So, like, that is probably bang on. And I think it is. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Absolutely bang on. Right, lovely. So, now what we can do... Now that we've got this edge defined, if I wanted to, I could just like demolish this and get it out of the way, but I won't bother. I'll leave it there for now, just so you can see it, so you, you'll get the idea of what I'm trying to do. Okay, let's run that over there. Okay, and we can even... Oh, no, we can't. Oh, I was going to say, I was going to say we can run that all the way up here, but we can't. Never mind. Never mind. 
we'll do that we'll do that later because we're going to do other cool things now um okay yeah well let's do the let's kind of do the next cool thing because i i want this to be i want each episode for there to be like, like at least something really cool in it so what i'm going to do i'm going to put this on a, a little concrete plinth but you see they've got these um these like pillars that they're, they're built on um, there is a word for it but i can't think what the hell it is um but if you if you put them like this kind of it looks a bit eh, i'm not quite sure about that right but what what i like to do and this is like you can do it different ways but this is what i like to do i like to take a road and and again i want the edge uh, to be just right right so you, it's just on the edge of there, and I, I want to come like a pixel further over. There. That's where I want it to be, right? Now, I'm not going to come out too far, because it, this is only going to be a, a, a little plinth. That's way too close. That's a bit too far. That looks about... Oh, it looks about perfect. Looks about... Oh, ah, yeah, bang, on, perfect cool now I don't want to hide these pillars and I want the spacing to be right so I'm probably gonna do it so that it kind of maybe like finishes in the middle of these two buildings which I think looks maybe not even that far maybe like maybe maybe there there so that the, the path is just going just behind this building right pop that in then trim our ends off boom boom and look at that isn't that peachy I oh man I love how this stuff looks on the water like this stuff that you build on the water is just so cool. And, and in actual fact, we've got a, a relatively limited area to build in. I mean, oh man, I wish there was a plot down here that had this whole area to build in. That would be just so sweet. Um, and I'm probably going to do like another region, like pick a map where I've got like a ton of water. In actual fact, Tamarin Island is kind of a perfect, like if you wanted to do this, because Tamarin Island, you've got like three quarters of the map areas water. You could do huge things in here. I'm so tempted, so tempted. I, I am going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm gonna, I know I'm going to do it. Right. So let me get back to this because there's so many cool things. I want to give you a massive, massive tip now. This is awesome. Um. So okay. This is a tip about these new um, pedestrian paths, these sidewalks. These things are freaking awesome. Okay, now let me show you one to start off with. Okay, so they're just, they're literally just a pedestrian area. And you've got these two rows of bollards and they look really nice. And you can do some really, really cool things with them. Now, wouldn't it be great if we could use this as like the concrete base for buildings if we could just fill it in with all of this the problem is of course that if you do that and if i put two of these next to each other like this and you can get them to like actually slightly overlap in actual fact but i'm going to try and get them so that they're just next to each other like that okay right so great oh and i've just shown off something we'll we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute but it, wouldn't it be great if we could just fill this in? The problem is that if you connect them to um, to a road, another road, you get this too close to existing intersection nonsense. But I found something very, very cool. Let me show you. Now, this is why I've put this road just outside the borders. And this is outside the extended borders and that's the critical thing and then something magical happens the game stops worrying about how close you are in terms of intersections so you can do this I'm going to put one of these roads in and I'm going to put the road in uh, I want it to be 
it, it's a shame that I haven't got that. You know, I'm really tempted to get rid of this, but it, I want to show you this if I can. Oh, 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 that'll do. That'll do, pig. Right. Let's bang that in. Right, now watch this. This is just... This... When I found this, this was like, oh, my Lord. Right. Now, look at that. Look at that. Those two, they're actually, like, overlapping slightly, but... I don't get the too close to, you know, the intersection nonsense. That'll do. That'll do. Let's just put that up there. Right. And now it means that you can have, and these things are connected. Um, they're connected, obviously, to this road. And let's put another one in. Which means that you can create a, a, a concrete base for your buildings to sit on and I'm going to do I'll do I'll do one or two more let's do one of the one there and we'll do one more we'll do one more just just so that you're going to get the like the the idea when I when I plop something uh oh is that yeah that'll do that'll do there right now, <laughs> when when we plop a building, normally um, a lot of the like the majority of the buildings have this transparent base, which is kind of not great. Um, where like what building? I have, <laughs> hey, shall I show you the Berlin Tower? Let me show you the Berlin Tower because that's very very cool and it's a good illustration actually. Um, see, if I plop this, okay, I've got to do it over here. If I plop this like there. Right, the the whole base is just transparent, right? We, you saw this in the in the last build, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna flog a dead horse, right? But <laughs> if I take it over here and do exactly the same thing, uh, where is it? Burning out. Uh, where should we put it? Uh, let's just put it there. Ooh, ooh. Let's put it there. That's a better illustration. Now, now, huh. the only issue is okay. That's that's not a good illustration. Let me let me move that because because I, I, there's another feature of this that I want to show you. So let me do that again. Let me do that again because I want to show you properly. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Right. So let's let's put it let's put it there. Right. And then what you get is the building sitting on this concrete base. Now, yeah, you've got all the bollards and all the rest of it, but I actually think that's not bad. I think that's quite cool. And certainly, you know, from a distance, it's very cool. Especially if you get all of this stuff lined up and everything. Bear in mind, you wouldn't have it like... like with all this excess stuff, and you'd put a road around the the outside, and it, I promise you, I promise you, it looks very, very cool. Right now, let me show you something else that's very cool with these uh, pedestrian paths. And I know I'm harping on about these paths, but we're going to be using them a lot, and they are just staggeringly good. Okay, so let's say that um, we put a road. And again, waterway is another one. Oh, somebody sent me. Sorry, I forgot to switch my notifications off. Oh, that's such a pain. Sorry. Um, right, so we've got a nice little corner there. Lovely. Right, let's try one of these pedestrian paths. And I'm not going to hook it up to the road. I'm just going to put it in. And I need to get this. I want to get this. Oh, 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 not quite close enough. Not quite close enough. A bit closer. You can get these things, like, really close. There we go. Right, there we go. Right. So that's there. And then I want to do the same thing on this edge. Oh, 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 fraction too close. Come out a couple of pixels. How's, oh, no. That was even closer that time. Let's try it. Oh, no, no, come on. Come on, Sky, pull it together. Uh, how about... Th there we go. Right, run it into that corner so that we get... 
a nice corner formed. Now look at this. If these are not connected to these roads, they're actually slightly elevated. And then you can create these, these multiple tier effects, which are just awesome. And when you combine this with having buildings in the middle and stuff, oh my lord, you can do wonderful things. But if, um, if you hook them up to a road, right, if you, if you don't want them elevated, all you've got to do is connect them to a road. Um, so, hang on, let's, let's, put a, let's put a little road in here. If, uh, if I just hook it across from there to there, and boom, and it's at the same level as the road. So you can tinker about with these and do, like, really, really, really seriously cool things. Because, like, like I can have that one there, and then I can have another one inside that. Um, oh, let's go up here. Which is, um, which is elevated, like... Oh, that's not quite close enough. Not quite close enough. Oh, God. God, Sky, the tinkering. The tinkering. Let's put that one in. Kind of like there. And I'll just put this corner in just to, just to show you. I'm not going to be too fussy about it. If I'm doing it at all. Oh, come on. I think that one's too close to the, too close to the edge. I'd need to... Ah, uh, come on. Come on, come on. Can I do this one? Yeah, almost. Almost. Try that again. Ah. Ah. There. Yeah. There we go. Right, now I can show you. So, yeah. So there, there you've got this path not elevated and this path elevated. So, like I said, you can do some really, really cool and interesting things with these. I absolutely love these paths, and there's different. There's a couple of different types. There's a there's a wide one, and there's also this um, footpath, this narrow one, right? Which is just that one. So you can do. Oh, seriously, you can do so many cool things with these. Right, let's get rid of that. Okay, that that lessons over. Oh, alrighty. So. You can probably get kind of an initial idea of where we're going with this, but things are about to get like a hundred times cooler. Mm -hmm.